Today we're diving into one of the most intriguing historical mysteries. Why does the Colosseum, a symbol of ancient Rome's grandeur, stand only half intact today? Join us as we explore the factors that led to its partial demise. The Colosseum, originally known as the Flavian Amphitheater, was completed in 80 AD under Emperor Titus. It was a marvel of Roman engineering and architecture, capable of seating around 50,000 spectators. With its grandeur and intricate design, the Colosseum was more than just an amphitheater. It was a symbol of the Roman Empire's might and sophistication. Fast forward a few centuries, and the first factor contributing to the Colosseum's current state emerges. Natural disasters. Throughout its history, the Colosseum has faced numerous earthquakes. The most catastrophic of these occurred in 1349, severely damaging the southern side of the structure. This was not just a small crack or a bit of fallen plaster. Large sections of the outer walls completely collapsed due to the quake's intensity. As we moved into the Middle Ages, the Colosseum story took several turns. It was no longer the center of Roman entertainment. Instead, it found new roles from housing to a fortress, even a Christian shrine. But with these new roles came neglect and vandalism, further exacerbating its deterioration. Perhaps the most significant factor in the Colosseum's partial destruction was spoliation. In the post-Roman era, the Colosseum was seen as a free quarry. Builders and aristocrats alike took from the Colosseum what they needed. Its marble facade, iron clamps and stone were removed and repurposed for building palaces, churches and other structures throughout Rome. This practice was not unique to the Colosseum, but was a common fate of many ancient Roman buildings. Environmental factors also played a role. Pollution and weathering over the centuries have eroded the stone, contributing to the structure's overall fragility. The Colosseum's current partial state is not just due to human intervention, but also due to the natural wear and tear over time. In more recent times, efforts have been made to preserve what remains of the Colosseum. These include cleaning and reinforcing the structure, as well as archaeological studies to better understand and preserve this iconic monument. The Colosseum stands half today due to a combination of natural disasters, human activities like spoliation and environmental factors. Its current state is a poignant reminder of the passage of time and the shifts in human priorities and values.